All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are gonna be in 135 pound division where big news has taken place in the fight between Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. According to Mauricio Suleiman, the president of the WBC. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, I'm gonna have a fun time because it is an example of I told you so. And what did I tell you? That Shakur Stevenson is going to get put in a funny situation by Bob Arum, his current promoter, that will prevent him from leaving Bob Arum with any of those belts. <laughs> now, before I get into it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we uh, release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. Really does mean a lot. And thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks of videos. Really is a terrific way to support this channel or other channel uh, YouTube content creators that create content that you like. But let's get into this because uh, right after Shakur Stevenson had a fight against Yoshina uh, on Saturday night, he beats him by, I can't remember what not, what, what round knockout it was, but it was a knockout. I think it was a, called a TKO. It, the fight ended on his feet because the referees thought this man was taking too much punishment. I thought it was a little bit of an early, I thought it was an early stoppage, but whatever, it is what it is. There was no doubt whatsoever uh, who was going to be winning that fight. And Shakur Stevenson wins the fight. Immediately after the fight, Shakur Stevenson uh, says that he wants to fight Devin Haney next because Devin Haney's uh, father and tra uh, father trainer, co-promoter, I'm not sure, who, the guy that's running the day-to-day -day in Devin Haney promotion said that Devin Haney's staying at 135 pounds. Well... It wasn't just Shakur Stevenson that heard this. Clearly, Mauricio Suleiman heard it as well because Mauricio Suleiman announced that, that said congratulations to Devin Haney. He is the mandatory for the winner of the Silly Lomachenko versus Devin Haney, which means that in order to maintain and continue to be the undisputed champion at 135, which... Devin Haney's camp says that they will do. They will have to fight Shakur Stevenson next in order to continue for that to be the case. And it's a fight that I absolutely positively love. Definitely hope takes place. And it is what people are asking for in boxing, which is for the best to fight the best. Now, obviously, when you say the best to fight the best, you can't just say, you know, it has to be a, the best versus one of the best. Because if you're the best, you're the best. There's not two bests. There's one best, right? So clearly you're saying who the best fighter is and how do we know who the best fighter is? You really don't know unless they all fight. But I think a reasonable conclusion, a, a reasonable place to start rather, is with who holds all the titles, which Devin Haney does. So that's part of the best. And then the second is, they're mandatories, people that are ranked very, very high in the sanctioning bodies. And according to the WBC, that number one guy, if depending on no matter who wins, is going to be Shakur Stevenson, because they didn't say that we're going to move him into the number one position. We said that we we're going to make him the mandatory. So they are telling you that they are going to order that fight. Now, I've always said that just by virtue of being the number one contender in the WBC, that does not mean that you are necessarily the mandatory. You actually have to have the fight ordered. Now, I am very familiar with the rules of the WBC, or let me say, significantly familiar uh, with the rules of the WBC. And the WBC 
can order anybody to be the mandatory, provided Mauricio Suleiman agrees to it. So when he says this is the mandatory, that is him ordering the fight. I did not see where they where there was a notification section in their in their rules which said we will notify you of this. Also, the the title, the mandatory is most definitely due because there has not been a mandatory title fight for the WBC in a very long time because the champion, the WBC champion before Vasily Lomachenko received it was uh, was Robert Easter Jr. And then uh, Vasily Lomachenko was elevated or moved up or whatever way you want to phrase it to the WBA, WBC franchise designation. And then after that, Devin Haney was moved into the mandatory position in, into the WBC championship. And he has not had a mandatory yet. The less mandatory, the last mandatory that was ordered for Devin Haney, I believe was the Ryan Garcia fight, which Ryan Garcia backed out of, but he's never had one as the W actual WBC champion. So it is now due. And they say it's going to be Shakur Stevenson, which means that we can stop talking about the Gervonta Davis fight with Devin Haney because it's not going to happen next because he is not going to be the mandatory for Devin Haney. Gervonta Davis is the WBA champion. Now, there's been a lot of talk about what um, Gervonta Davis can do in order to become the mandatory for Ryan, which I mean, for um, for Devin, which is he could petition the WBA to order the fight. But that's not going to happen because, number one, Gervonta Davis does not need a mandatory to fight a, a mandatory to fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney will fight will fight him as a voluntary, according to Devin. So there's no reason for him to say, OK, let me become your mandatory so that he can be in some mandatory split scenario, which is, you know, which is laid out in the rules of the WBA. And the WBA is not if the fight is already ordered by the WBC between Vasily Lomachenko and I mean, between Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson, the WBA is not going to override them and try to and try to force that fight ahead of time. So it's just is really, really, truly not a realistic way to go. But I love the fight, this fight between Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Now, my thoughts on whether or not it's actually going to happen. Man, your guess is as good as mine, because I don't really think Devin Haney really wants to fight Shakur Stevenson. That is what had been said previously about from Bill Haney saying we'll fight at 140 or 147. Uh, and um, them saying, well, you know, we'll fight when the time is right. Well, apparently the WBC thinks the time is right. So hopefully we can get the fight. But anyway, it goes. It has most definitely been mandated. And Devin Haney is now the Shakur Stevenson is now the mandatory for Devin Haney. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.